What's up, nail friends? In today's video, I'm going to be doing a beautiful set <laughs> inspired by the amazing nails by Annabelle, the owner of Glitter Bells. This is her set, and I'll show you guys what I do. In this video, I'm going to be doing prep, uh, application, lots of finished filing, and tons of tips and tricks and everything included in this video. If you're interested in that, just keep on watching. Okay, so my client Allison is in. I haven't seen her for a few years, but I absolutely love Allison. She's a great client and she just loves getting long nails. So obviously I had to take her back when she asked for some extra long nails. Um, I was just filming a TikTok to start, just always doing that. Make sure you follow my TikTok. It's actually called Small Shop Secrets. It's kind of like my other one, my other uh, YouTube channel. It's just, but anyways, I'm gonna be prepping her nails to start. So I'm just pushing back the cuticle skin with my cuticle tool. We sell these on Nail Tone. I'm just going to gently push back the skin, moving the cuticle skin out of the way. I'm going to do that on both hands. And then you're going to flip your tool and scrape up what you can of the cuticle that's stuck to the nail plate. Flipping my tool now. I'm just scraping down the side. You're just gonna wanna be gentle. You don't need to put a lot of pressure. This is just to help get up that skin that's on the plate. You wanna remove anything that's on the nail plate because it just will not, like nothing will stick to that. No enhancement of any type, no acrylic or gel, it'll just lift. So you really wanna make sure that you get rid of all the cuticle skin on the nail plate and prep properly. Okay, this is what that cuticle area looks like now before we've gone ahead and used any tools. So I am using a diamond tool here from Get Buff Nails. I'm just going down the left side to start. This is just a careful tool, it feels really nice. And this will just lift up any of that skin that's there to start before we go in with any other tools. And um, I also do reverse this and go down the other side. Um, instead of just going one way, I like to use my reverse tool on my info. That just helps get um, an even closer and better file when you do that. So now I'm going reverse. I just zoomed in a bit for you guys. And I'm just reversing down that other side. It just helps lift up the skin and get nice and close. So I'm just going over this with this tool, but I have other tools I'm going to use in this manicure as well. So I'm just, she's got a lot of skin to kind of get away there. She hasn't had her nails done for a while, so I was really cleaning them up. And I'm going to I like to film TikToks while I'm doing this, just because people like uh, prep shots <laughs> on TikTok. I switched my tool to another tool from Get Buff Nails. I really, really like this tool. It's basically just a flame bit, but without that little pointy bit, it's really good for getting around the cuticle area nice and close without hurting anyone or accidentally poking your clients or anything. It's great. So I'm just going down the one side and then again, I reverse my e-file and I go down the other side. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and shape her free edge just a little bit with a 180 grit file. And buff any of the shine off her natural nail that I might have missed. To finish off my prep, I'm using a ball bit here. I'm just going around the skin be nice and gentle. Just help you get any little piece that's on the skin up. Just make it look a lot neater and cleaner. I go down the run side and again I switch it and go down the other side. So now you're going to want to remove all the dust before application. So I'm just scrubbing that off and then I'm going to use a lint-free wipe and some alcohol to really cleanse the nail and really get in close to the sidewalls and everything. You want to make sure to get all that dust away because um, your enhancements, like I said, will not stick if you have anything on the nail. So this will dry out the hands and stuff, but we're going to replenish the skin at the end with some cuticle oil. 
I didn't bother to film applying tips because it's just gluing on tips. So I just applied the um, Glitter Balls Extreme Coffin Tips and we just caught a little bit off. And then I'm just blending them a little bit with my uh, tool here. This is Sanding Band. We sell these on Nail Throne. And I'm just blending this in with her natural nail so I can just apply on top. We wanted to keep these nice and extra long. Then I'm going to take my hand file and shape them and go over them. I'm using a 180 grit hand file and then I'm also using my metal file board with the refills on it for shaping as well. And so just making the sidewalls kind of come up a bit just so they're not droop drooping down at all. And trying to make the nails nice and even and matching each other and yeah, buffing off the top, straightening the edge. Okay, after I've done that, I made sure to cleanse all the dust again, and then we're coming on to getting ready to start. So, I am using my Glitter Bells Dehydrator and uh, Acid Free Primer for the set. So, just going to want to put that just on the natural nail. You don't need to get this on the, um, uh, what's it called, tip at all, just the natural nail. And I had to clip off a little piece of tip that's sticking up there. You can see that little plastic piece that'll get in the way. So I clip that off. So yeah, go in with your dehydrator first. And then the acid free primer as well. Just scrub that in to the natural nail. And you don't need to put this on the tip at all. Okay, so I couldn't get some of the film um, on camera, but I do show you guys the other hand as well. Um, so on the middle finger here, I'm going in with Angel Crush. This is one of the new glitters. This is one of the nicest glitters. I love it. So I'm just going in at the cuticle area, just placing that, and I'm just going to leave that. Uh, and then I'm going to go in on her middle finger and go in with that fully all over that whole nail because it's just such a nice color. So I pick up a big bead and I'm just going to maneuver and push that around the cuticle area. This it has a lot of fine glitter in it, matte fine glitters and sparkles, so it's really easy to get around the cuticle area. You don't have to worry about it being too chunky. Um, so I'm just going right in at the cuticle area and then I'm going to pat and pull this down the nail and build this up because I want this on both those two nails. Her middle finger, her thumb, and her pinky are all kind of the same except with a different fade, but I do put that angel glitter down and push that up towards cuticle area. The brush I'm using is the Glitter Balls size 10. This is a pinched brush. This one has the glitter in the handle, it's really cool. <laughs> but we also have the brushes that are new pink ones with the lids as well in stock. To preserve that glitter, I just apply a little bit of clear on top right at the cuticle area and then just feathering that down. Um, I am grabbing my camera to do a little bit of TikTok right here and I'm just doing that on the middle finger as well. So I'm just applying that glitter, uh, that clear, um, just a really small bead you see and I'm spreading that and just covering up that glitter just so I don't file into it or cover it up too much. Um, it's just going to be kind of like a hidden cuticle glitter. On this design, I do go back and forth between her hands, so I just left her other hand for a bit and I'm going to apply my prep and dehydrator on this hand. And then we're going to go in and 
copied the same design, which you can see better uh, from this angle. So I'm applying that uh, angel crush glitter at the cuticle area of the pinky, pushing it close with the very tip of my brush using a light hand, just maneuvering that glitter. And then I'm just feathering that down lightly. And like I said, these match the other hand, so the middle finger, no, sorry, the ring finger and the pointer finger are just full glitter. Switching back to her other hand, I'm going on her pinky finger here with petal candy. I picked up a bead, placing it down, not at the tip, just right in the center. I'm kind of using my brush to push that color up towards, and then I am fading that down. And then I'm going to wipe off my brush and then flip it and flick the color upward, and it'll kind of um, blend really nicely. But it was hard to see from this angle, so hopefully you guys will see that again in a sec. So I'm just going to let that dry. And on the middle finger here, we're gonna go in with the color Indigo Rain. Just placing that down, pushing that color up. Indigo Rain kind of marbles a bit, so you just wanna play with it a little bit just so the marbling goes away. Uh, purples sometimes do that. And then again, I just flicked that up really lightly just for a light fade. And then again, I'm just feathering that down the nail. And then I'm going back to this nail and I'm patting that just so I don't leave that and let that dry like that. 
it was kind of like not even perfectly. So I just even that out with my brush. The cleaner you are with application, the better the finish filing will be. So on her thumb, I went in with salmon pink, salmon pink, yeah. And it's a really light color. I probably should have picked something a little darker, but in the end it looks cool with the crystals I put on top, but it's really, really light. So I'm just placing that on the nail, and then there you can see me kind of lightly feathering that up. So I clean off my brush and make sure it's dry when I feather it up. And then again, just lightly pat and pull. These products are really smooth and easy to work with. You can build it up if you need to, but the colors are really pigmented as you can see. And then again, I'm just using my brush to pat the product down at the tip and feather that down. Try to make sure that's nice and even and keeps the nice square shape that we have. I'm just taking a look at the nails. Do a little TikTok filming. <laughs> the next step is to apply a little bit of cover pink. So I'm applying that in the middle of the glitter and the color. So this is Pinkerbell cover and I'm just using my brush to kind of feather that up over top of that clear glitter. Remember I added the clear there just so that we wouldn't cover up all the glitter when we apply our core, core powder. And then I'm just using my brush to flatten and pull that over top of our um, bottom color. And that gives us a nice clean fade. And you can always apply more if you need to, which I'm doing. And again, I applied the clear there so you will have the glitter still peeking through at the top. Here's the thumb, doing that again. So the cover powder is really similar looking in this video to the salmon pink, but in person it's actually um, different, but it is light and they kind of match a little bit. <laughs> That's why I kind of wish I chose a different pink for the thumb, just because they matched a little too well. And again, doing that on the middle finger here. So placing that down, pushing the product up with my brush, and then cleaning off my brush and fading that down over the color. And I wipe off my brush after each pull and try to blend that nicely. I'm adding a little bit more of the purple on the tip there because it kind of like isn't the same full color all the way down. So I just had to add a little bit more purple. And I'm just gonna gently fade that up by turning my brush upside down. And then again, I'm going to clean up the edge there at the end try to make it nice and even and then I went and added more of the Pinkerbell cover. Okay, so after all her nails are done, I'm going back to her original first hand that I started on and we're going to encapsulate these nails. They're super, super long, so I am starting at the tip, placing my bead, and then I'm going to pull this down gently and try to get full coverage so that when we file, we don't file off any color. And then I'm grabbing a bigger bead, placing it down, pushing that close towards the cuticle area with my brush and then I'm using my brush to pull and fade that down the nail and blend that into the bottom bead. And then we're gonna go ahead and get and encapsulate all of these nails.
the end, I do come back and add a little bit more to the pinky because it needed a little bit more product. So you can always encapsulate the nails and then add more clear at the end if you need to um, to make sure they're nice and even before you finish file. Okay, so here is how that set looks right now before I go ahead and finish file all them. And I was, of course, doing TikTok. So I'm going to be using a small flame bit here, tapered flame, around the cuticle area. This is from our shop nail throne. So this is just to smooth and even that out a little bit and debulk that area. Then I'm using it in medium flame bit to 
debulk even some more before I go in with my hand pal. So we also sell these on the nail throne. So these are just for um, debulking at the end to finish filing. And that's what I use them for. So just so I lightly finish file with these or lightly debulk with these. I really like to do most of my filing by hand. I just find you have more control. After debulking, I am going to now finish file by hand. So I am using a 180 grit file to start on the sidewalls and up and down at the free edge. So I'm, and then I'm switching over to my metal file board and it has a 100 side and a 180 grit side. And I just like to file and shape the sidewalls with that as well to make sure it's nice and straight. The metal file boards are amazing for shaping. And then I'm just going over the nail and trying to smooth and even this out and shape them by hand, like I said, and try to keep my apex in place while making the, even, making the nail nice and even. Finish filing is one of the f my favorite parts, even though it's like tedious and kind of hurts my hands, but <laughs> I really like finished filing. I just like the end result. I switch hands here. Um, I think it's just because my camera didn't catch the filming, but I do catch this side. So again, I'm just going to debulk with my um, flame bit here. Uh, I do teach online classes uh, via Zoom. If anyone needs any help with shaping, we can do custom classes um, where I show you exactly what I'm doing and show you what maybe you're missing and we can work together to uh, help you in anything you need help with. So make sure you guys DM me if you want to take some custom classes. I do teach online, but I can also do in-person classes if you prefer. But obviously I'm in Victoria, BC and I'm not planning to travel right now because I have a small child, but um, I am in Victoria, BC. So if you are in my city and you want to take a class with me like in person, uh, message me on Instagram <laughs> or email.
after I've finished filed and I'm satisfied with everything, I go ahead and buff these nails. So you use a fresh buffing block and make sure that you score the edges where you will cut your client around the cuticle area. So I make sure to go around the cuticle area so it's smooth and um, at the tip and under the nails. And you just want to make sure to just buff off any deep scratches. You don't really want to buff too much. Just buff a little. Get the scratches off. I did remove and um, miss a ton of finish filing, but I do spend a lot of time finish filing. It's really important, in my opinion, to get a nice um, finish filed shape. So after I'm done finish filing and I'm happy with the way it looks, I'm gonna brush off all the dust again. You're gonna wanna remove that dust, use a lint-free wipe to remove the rest of the dust around the cuticle area, and then we're gonna go in and we're gonna use some of these uh, unbelievable gels. So the ones I'm using are white such a sweetie luscious lilac and peach petal and i'm just putting them on a palette this palette is from kelsey's claws she makes custom made palettes like this it's really cool i'll link her in my description box so i put these on a palette and then i am going to be using my glitter bells ombre brush to pick up the product and kind of go across the nail with it and like let it off my brush it's really cool really easy design to do and really fun but you can't really see from this angle but i think in the next um, my finger you can see what i'm doing a little bit better you want to make sure you do it nice and thin so especially right at the first area you let go of the brush and the product don't let it pile up right at the cuticle area right there and i'm taking my brush and i'm kind of spreading that out you can see so that it's not thick in that area at all because that will bulb this up when you try to um, put your top coat on so i'm going in and applying it how i want moving it around adding more jiggling the brush you know what i mean you can kind of just do whatever you want it looks really cool such an easy design and i take my brush you can kind of see on my palette that i wipe my brush off and then pick up more product and then i have her cure that so after i've added all of that i'm going to go ahead and add crystals so i'm going in with some fun shapes and stuff and some crystals from moon flare and i'm just going to bling this set up can anyone guess how long this set took me to do from start to finish take a think for a sec there and then guess and then I'll tell you at the very end how long it took me and how much I made. I'm top coating this set with my glitter balls and a wipe top coat. And I use my thumb and finger to wipe off anything that's kind of uh, on the side. Like that. Just so you don't get anything piled up. So when I do crystal polka dots like this, I do apply my top coat right on top of it and I don't try to avoid the crystals. Usually I would, but it's too hard for this. <laughs> okay, so after the top coat, I have her cure. We put her um, cuticle oil on and have her wash her hands. And here's the finished set. I love the set so much they turned out. Oh, so so nice they took me over three hours to do and I made $155 what do you guys think of this set did I do Annabelle justice let me know down below thanks so much for watching guys and make sure you like subscribe check out my description box for all products used and I will see you next time bye